Hello everyone, I'm Jamia Drummond Bay, founder of Kid University. I'm a conscious learning expert and global curriculum designer. So I have received a significant amount of questions and one of the main questions I received recently from parents is when it is appropriate to have race related discussions with their kids. As an educator, I have seen the power of introducing diverse stories that highlight main characters of color on young kids. And because of this, I want to open my classroom to you so that you can have an opportunity to witness just how powerful this is. Now, before we start, I do wanna let you know that yes, there has been full consent provided to use all the footage. So, here's the story. This video is a few years old, but at the time I was teaching in South Korea and my students were Korean age seven, which is American age six. And one of my students looked at my skin and commented on it and said, teacher, I love your skin, but I don't like anyone who has skin that's darker than yours. I was completely caught off guard because I'd never heard her say anything like that. So I said, what, what do you mean? And she said, I hate people who have darker skin. Again, completely shocked. So. I said, uh, well, my mom and my younger sister have skin that's darker than mine. And she said, well, I hate your mom and your younger sister. Again, completely surprised because my students and I have a very, very beautiful relationship. And so I continued smiling and I said, well, where is this coming from? And she said, people with darker skin are bad people. And I said, so do you believe if someone has dark skin, they are bad? And she said, yeah. And I said, if someone does not have dark skin, they aren't bad? And she said, no. And she said, and I hate everyone in Africa. And I was just so perplexed. So I said, well, do you believe that everyone in Korea never makes mistakes and they're all good people? And she said, yeah. So I'm smiling and really, really just trying to make it a comfortable environment for her to share her true feelings, but I am just really, really shocked. And then another student said, teacher, teacher, I have a book at home that I think will help her. I'm gonna bring it tomorrow. And I said, you have a book at home that will help her? And she said, yes. In this book, there's a story about a girl with dark skin and the other students tease her, but then they learn that she's a really, really great person and they learn to love her. And you know what, teacher, I think this book is gonna help her, so don't say anything else. We've already talked about it. I'm gonna bring this book to school tomorrow and then I'm going to share this book. Whoa, what a boss, right? So in that moment, I thought, this could be a beautiful experience for our class. Using the flipped classroom model, I can give this young ally the, not, the opportunity to lead the experience and offer support. So I decided to follow this young student's lead and wait until the next day. And this is what happened. Tell us the title. Read the title of the book. Oh. And what does that mean? So that means, um, second means many color faces, yes. right? So the if many face color is here, mm -hmm. then we can. We feel good too. Mm -hmm. That means mm -hmm. tight. Okay, thank you very much. Golden mm -hmm. like a dark, mm -hmm. dark night. Her face was like a dark night. Like you. Like me, yeah. yeah. Like, same as teacher, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's like me. Here is. Oh, is that like Jamil? Yes. Yeah? What do you think? Is that like me? Yes. Yeah? Is that like me? You don't think so? 
think so? Yeah. Okay. 바다 건너 먼 나라에서 아빠는 엄마 아빠는 엄마를 만났대요. 엄마를 처음 봤을 때 아빠는 가슴이 마구마구 뛰었어요. That means Dad and Mom is going to the work, but they meet them, met them, and they Mary. and Dad and Dad surprised because Mom is so beautiful. Mmm. So. Um, Understand, Amy? You understand? You understand? That means every day, so very, very not good feel. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she was sad, so she was cry and crying. Go, crying and go home. She went home. She went home. Then mom says, said, children, children, those children. Cute. Children make fun of you. <gasps> oh, did they make fun of you? Yes. Mm. So her mommy knows, right? Yes, because many times she go what they kiss make fun of her. Fun of her. Oh. Look at the moon. Moon is moon is just same. Right. We have the same moon, right? Yeah. Just our faces are different, right? Yeah. So that means inside. Yes, that's sure. I know that at first because I know all of all of people cannot be same same color. Right, because we're different people. But inside, do we have the same kind of feelings? No. I think so. Everyone can cry. Everyone can love. Everyone can laugh, yes. right? Yeah. So yes. just how our faces are different, but inside we are same. Yeah. And and heart is same. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness. Why? That's so great, right? Yes. Yeah, because that means we can love everyone. Yes. <gasps> That's amazing. So that means I can love someone in Africa too, right? Yes. Yes? Yes. What about you? Can you love someone in Africa too? Yeah. And then that looks very well. Yes. Everyone say thank you for teaching us a lesson, LEP. Yes. Who I know who who write it and draw it. Okay, who wrote that book? We need to know. Young uh hair. -huh. Young hair. Write this story. Wrote the story. And Drew, 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 the, the picture. Wow, we have to say thank you to them. Maybe we can write a letter to them. Wow. So everyone, let's say, can we, you leave the book out and we will draw some pictures. Tell me one thing you learned from this story. I learned this story just we don't teach them just and we don't teach who? Just only brown. There's oh, we shouldn't um, tease. You mean we shouldn't yeah, tease, tease the people, people that brown that have brown skin? Yes. So can I draw the learn? We run star, learn story in here. Yes. And then draw a picture of yes. that. Yes. Yes. If that's teacher. what you like, teacher. What did you learn? I learned. Mm -hmm. When the skin is different. Mm -hmm. it's it's okay. Wow. Me too. You learned that too? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Wow. Everyone, let's say thank you, LEP. Oh. Thank you, LEP. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, right? So we have so many amazing aha moments that can teach us all, especially with what's happening today. From LEP, we learned the beauty of being an ally to not only show up, but to speak up. From Amy, we learned how amazing it is to just share your mistakes and be willing and open to receive feedback and to learn and grow. And from Alan, the boy in the class, we learned how to create a beautiful, loving environment when those conversations are taking place. Teach your children to see color and acknowledge differences. Teach them the beauty of making mistakes. Give them books 
that are diverse and highlight people of color as main characters and tell different stories. Be mindful of using phrases or experiences that showcase black as being bad or white as being good. Have an environment that allows one to make mistakes. A great resource is the Growth Mindset Digital Printable at Kid University. This Growth Mindset Printable will teach your child to be open to making mistakes and learn to love making mistakes. It gives them a five-day challenge and each day gives them an opportunity to love and grow even more. You can get this printable at kiduniversity.com. Thank you so much for experiencing our classroom with us and let's continue to raise allies.